talk about one of the pieces of technology that we have down here at the Learning Center. It's a FlightScope X2 Launch Monitor. So I have a 9-iron here. Uh, there's a lot of applications. There's a million ways we can use this. Uh, I'm just going to go through a few of them today uh, and show you that it's not really that intimidating, but it gives you all kinds of information. So basically, I'm just going to hit a shot here. And then I'm going to zoom in on the TV and talk about some of the numbers and some of the things that we can learn from the launch monitor. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're going to take a look here at some of the numbers from the shot that I just hit. Uh, if you look in the bottom left corner, you can see carry distance. So the shot I hit carried 135 yards. Uh, the total distance with roll was 144 yards. We'll just go right across the bottom from left to right. Uh, the smash factor is essentially a way to determine where you hit it on the club face, so whether or not you hit it in the middle. Uh, the club path is pretty much the direction that the club's traveling when I make contact with the ball. Uh, the next two launch angles, uh, what that tells us is what was the vertical launch angle, so how, how high from the ground and at what angle did the ball start when the radar picked it up. And then horizontal is uh, whether it started left or right of my target. Uh, the next two numbers are ball speed, that's a pretty easy one, it's basically in miles per hour how fast the ball was traveling. Uh, and club head speed is how fast I swung the club. Uh, the next one is spin rate. And then the bottom right picture there is spin axis, which basically tells us which direction uh, the ball would have curved. You can see from the yellow path on the shot that I hit that it curved slightly left. Uh, so the axis of the ball is tilted to the left. So we'll just take a look at one other screen here. It will give us a three-dimensional picture of what happened during my golf swing. And you can kind of move it around and take a look from different angles. Uh, it's really a great way to learn, and if you just find a few numbers, uh, you, can, you can use it effectively without being overly technical. Uh, that's the FlightScope X2 launch monitor. Uh, let us know if you want to come out and try it out. I'm here on hole 18, and uh, you know this section really isn't about mechanics, or it's not about how to hit this tee shot. It's, it's simply about you know one of the keys to playing good golf. And uh, to me, we get so wrapped up in the score that we shoot and the mechanics of the golf swing that a lot of times uh, the reason that we start playing this game is because it's fun. And, uh, you know, I think when you get here to this 18th tee box and you just look around and kind of see this amazing view and you, and you just think about how lucky we are to be able to play this golf course. And to me, a big part of playing good golf is going out there and, and looking around and enjoying being outside and enjoying the scenery. In fact, that's one of the keys to good golf uh, for me. Uh, there's a lot of components to playing golf, uh, but if you can't have some appreciation for being out here in nature and looking around at, at all the different uh, beautiful shots and elevation changes, and uh, if you start taking that in, uh, like I said, score is certainly important, but uh, this is a really cool spot we're at here. And uh, when you go out, just kind of take the time to look around and enjoy it. It, it tends to relax you a little bit and, and then you end up playing better golf.